Michael, you know, I am, uh, I think in themes. I think in themes. And the theme for the A Block today is relationships. And we know that Daryl Morey and James Harden have had a long-standing relationship, which now that they're in this holding pattern since his trade request, uh, has deteriorated to the point of James Harden saying this this morning over in China. Daryl Morey is a liar. And I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Thank you, man. couple of things about that. I like the TED talk uh, posture and I like the let me say that again. Okay, just just in case you missed it the first time. So a uh, couple of things, man. <laughs> There's so much to unpack about this. Um, yeah, you're right. There's a, a lie is, to unpack. You're a, right. <laughs> a, a lie is only as effective as you allow it to be. A lie is only effective if you believe it. And as my lawyer told me, a verbal agreement ain't worth the paper it's printed on. Let me say that again. Hmm. A verbal agreement ain't worth the paper it's printed on. So James Harden, you're the fool if you in fact took less money last year with a wink, nod, handshake agreement that Daryl Moore was gonna make it up to you on the back end, okay? You're the fool for believing that. Because Daryl Morey has already shown you who he is, shown you who he, who he is right. to other people, to other players. So why didn't you believe him when he showed you who he was? Oh, I know why. Because you thought you were special. Michael, I can speak from experience, okay? I don't care how much like family these executives make you feel. At the end of the day, it ain't personal as business. And James Harden, I, hell, I just had an experience like that the other day, okay? James Harden should have better known better, <laughs> okay? He, like, like, like Antoine Rockamora should have better known better than to think that you taking less to help the Sixers out that a year later that Daryl Morey was going to make it up to you in the form of a, of a long-term max deal, which he allegedly wants. So that's where I'm at with James Harden, man. Ain't nobody got no sympathy for James Harden. To say, to say nothing of the fact that, okay, you making this ultimatum. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of again. Who are you hurting exactly? Who are you hurting exactly? Like, okay, so we know if we get James Harden, we'll get the league leader in assists per game in a regular season. But when it comes time to show up in the playoffs, we can't count on him. So you'll never be a part of our organization. Boo F and who? Last but not least, yeah. you want to be mad at somebody. Be mad at the Clippers, the team you say you want to go to. Clearly, they ain't stepped up to the plate because you've already compromised leverage by saying that's the team you want to play for. So James Harden could have avoided all of this if he would not have opted into his contract last year. Or excuse me, this offseason, this $35 million contract that he's making this year. Just be a free agent. Opt out. You had a player option. You chose to opt in thinking you were going to get traded to the place you wanted to go. You thought it was going to be one way, but it's the other way. And I'll shut up with that, Michael, because you know what? Hey, no, I, I know you've been I know you've been laughing all morning because you know you've been telling me you've been, you've been telling me about James Harden for how many years? <laughs> so that's all I got to say. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, but no, it, it ain't. But, but Mike, Mike, it's really not about you know, like, hey, I told you so with James Harden. But you did. Like, let me just but go behind the curtain. For I know I did. I know I did. I'm going to go behind the curtain a little bit uh, for our loyal audience, our BFA people. And a lot of them are here on Martha's Vineyard. I told you about them. You were here. And I've run into a lot of just loyal fans who really appreciate the show. I've been following the show since day one. So thank you to those folks. But generally, Mike, I can tell where we were in the show based on the background. Like sometimes we will run and in case you missed it. 
and it's got those plain backgrounds. I said, oh, that's before we got our graphics package in. Or I could see, uh, depending on the haircut that you have, or <laughs> depending on, on you know where, what the background is, what I'm wearing, I can tell what year it is. With James Harden, dog, I have lost track. I it's 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 all a blur with James Harden. When you ran, a, yeah. we just saw Promo that day. with Sam Amick. I don't know when that was. I was here in the vineyard, I guess. Like, there's so many declarations and statements with Harden. I'm never gonna do this. I want out of here. We've had Houston Harden. We've had Brooklyn Harden. We've had Philly Harden. Maybe back to Houston Harden, but they didn't want him. Maybe to the Clippers Harden, but as you pointed out, they weren't ready they to step up for him. So, yeah. So, bro, like, what? I just don't understand what he's searching. It's an OKC thing. It, it really goes back to OKC. If you go back and do the, when we do the documentary on on uh, on Sam Presti in Oklahoma City, and we look at Russell, and we look at Harden, and we look at Durant, it's gonna be like, it ain't just a basketball story. It's like a searching for meaning, spiritual journey thing. Like, what are these dudes ultimately searching for? And the last thing I'll money. say for money. Harden and Phil in, in, in this case, is money. Oh, but ain't money. He got, he got plenty. He's got, he got, he got plenty of money. It ain't just money. It wasn't money in Houston. It wasn't money in Houston. Money. He wanted out. Money. But he no, had, no, no. Okay, but, but, he I'm, got but I'm money, saying now. I'm had, saying. In, no, I'm saying in this instance, apparently, apparently, or maybe, or maybe it's the principle of the matter. I don't know. But again, I from what I understand, Daryl Morey said, "Take this discount so we can fill out this roster. We'll take care of you on the back end." Like you a fool for believing that, and if okay, you're Daryl Morey, no. you'd be a fool for giving him the contract he wants. Go ahead, I'm sorry, but you know, and listen, listen, I, I, I love going in on Harden, but there is a Daryl Morey aspect to this. I'm not sure what it is sure. yet. It will reveal itself. It'll come up, but in oh, the, he probably did lie the, to him. He oh, probably yeah, yeah. did lie to him. I mean, I mean, but that's what they all do. That's all. That's what I'm saying. It's like that's, that's your, that's your fault for believing his lie. But you're right. Executives it ain't personal. It's, it, it, it ain't personal as business. This is what they do. This is an introduction yeah. to corporate America. But <clears throat> if you think about it, that spot, that slot is cursed in Philadelphia. You oh. know, Ben Simmons said the same thing. You know, Daryl, I want to do that. So Ben Simmons said these things. Everybody was happy to get Ben Simmons out of there and get James Harden in. They're going to be happy to get Harden out, probably get somebody else in. It's twofold. I'd say 85% of the problem is Harden. Or maybe 75% is Harden. 25% is Daryl Morey. The way he is doing business is not good business. And he doesn't get a pass because he ain't got enough and earn it. So I'm not going to give him a pass either. I'll put it all on Harden. I'll put most of it on Harden. But but Daryl Morey, he's got Darryl, some... But uh, Daryl uh, Daryl Morey ain't in China. In well, he'll never be in China. But Daryl Morey ain't... Hey, we didn't wake up this morning to Daryl Morey saying James Harden is a fraud. James Harden is a regular season player when he feels like playing. James Harden in the playoffs will never show up when you need him. James Harden is about to run Joel and beat out of town, and I don't want him to be a part of this organization. That's not what Daryl Morey got on camera and said this morning. That's not what we woke up to. We woke up to James Harden deciding to publicly call the general manager a liar, and he might be telling the truth about him being a liar. But... Again, what is your role in accepting and believing his lies? Again, Daryl Morey, James Harden hung the moon and the stars for Daryl Morey for years. From OKC, I mean, when he got him out of OKC to Houston all the way through. James Harden is a depreciating asset and a declining player, an aging player. So right. now, here's Daryl Morey looking out for Daryl Morey, which is what they all do. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.